بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The tank of oil filled distribution transformer is not designed or manufactured or operated to be a pressurized vessel What does this mean? It needs us to understand what is meant by pressurized vessel Pressurized vessel means there is a space there is a container where the pressure inside the container is much more than the pressure outside this container so it will have special design and manufacture to be able to withstand this difference in pressure there are so many popular applications for pressurized vessel the LPG cylinders liquefied petroleum gas which are used for domestic applications these cylinders are pressurized vessels also diving cylinders which are used by divers deep underwater some cylinders for liquefied gases like ammonia which are used for particular applications air compressor also an example of pressurized vessel spaceship environment also pressurized vessel but maybe the most interesting example of a pressurized vessel is the aircraft cabin In the last episode, we discussed the atmospheric pressure and we saw that atmospheric pressure is around 100,000 pascal or 100 kilopascal near the sea level. When you travel by plane and the plane starts to take off and for each meter above sea level, there will be a drop in atmospheric pressure. Maybe 50% of the air around the earth is enclosed in the first 5.5 kilometer. Whenever we go up, Above sea level, the density of the air will be less and less, and the atmospheric pressure will be dropped accordingly. For airlines, their favorite altitude is between 30,000 and 40,000 feet, between around 9 and 12 kilometers. In this portion from the atmosphere, the air density is very less, and the pressure almost 20% of the atmospheric pressure near the sea level. If the aircraft cabin kept as it is without any pressurization, passengers will be subjected to hypoxia, lack of oxygen. It will affect their brains, their vision, and in maximum one minute, the result will be death. For this reason, the aircraft cabin is always a pressurized. It's a pressurized vessel, so that when you are traveling in the airplane, you will not feel anything, you feel it normal because of pressurization. If there is any leak in the air cabin, this will lead to a disaster. And this happened in America, 1989, in the United Airlines, when there was a little crack in the aircraft cabin, nine passengers were sucked out from this high pressure, high pressure inside the aircraft, compared to the pressure outside the aircraft, which led to rupture in the door of the aircraft and there was investigation about that because this injured. aircraft was supposed to be a pressurized vessel. It has the special design, fabrication, operation, everything. Now back to our transformer. Our transformer is not, as we said, designed or built or operated to be a pressurized vessel. It's only supposed to withstand a small overpressure. And in case of high pressure, according to the abnormal operation or fault conditions, there should be a way to protect this transformer from explosion. Explosion of a transformer is very dangerous. It can affect humans, animals, uh, environment, uh, assets, everything. And there are so many ways to protect this transformer. For power transformers, there are so many sophisticated aids and tools to protect the transformers, like Buchholz relay and other things. But for our distribution transformer, oil-filled distribution transformer, the most popular thing is to use the pressure relief valve. Pressure relief valve is used in so many applications, especially in water networks. Whenever there is a need to reduce the pressure, which is supposed not to be built up, these pressure relief devices are used. Pressure relief valve in its simplest construction is like this one, rod 
loaded with a spring and there is gasket which will come between the pressure relief valve PVR and the transformer tank and whenever there is pressure inside the transformer this will push against the spring force and this lid will come up and there will be a road for the gases inside the transformer this is the rod and this is the spring and this is the cover and it has sealant or gasket here and also there is a gasket between the PVR itself and the tank of the transformer and uh, normally this PVR has a special design made of brass or aluminium and sometimes with painted aluminium because this PVR is supposed to withstand tough conditions very high temperatures and whenever this is pulled up there will be a way to for the gases to go out from the PVR sometimes for this PVR it can come like this without contacts sometimes it come with contacts to provide a protection to trip the circuit breaker and in that time you will find like a small extension of the PVR where the contacts are enclosed when the rod is moving upwards it will push the contacts to give signal to the circuit breaker to trip and sometimes this pressure relief valve is equipped with like a tube or cover to lead this extra gas and oil away from the transformer to a safe place so back to the pressurized vessel concept this transformer is not a pressurized vessel this PVR pressure relief valve is to maintain the pressure inside the transformer same as the outside atmospheric pressure whenever there is an excess pressure inside the tank this will provide a force which will move the rod against the spring force and will release these extra gases as we explained earlier there is an air cushion above the oil level in the transformer during faults and abnormal conditions there will be an extra heat generated inside the transformer so this air this gas inside the transformer will get heated the simple equation which describes the physics of the gas is PV equal nRT P is the pressure V is the volume N is the number of moles R is the gas constant and T is the temperature when this T increases the pressure and the volume of the gas will increase and when the temperature increases significantly like in fault conditions this pressure and volume of the gas will increase and if it is not resolved explosion will happen and this is very dangerous so this pressure relief valve will provide a route for this extra volume and extra pressure inside the transformer it will provide a relief and that's where the name comes from and consequently protects this transformer from explosion in the next episode inshallah we'll continue with the transformer accessories to complete them in that episode to start after that with the tests carried out on transformer whether type test or routine test with the practical examples taken from the factories themselves